Good morning, my name is Robert Watkin. We're here today to show a demonstration lesson. The students are Maymuna, who is 13, and Tala, who is 11. They've been doing home tuition lessons with me for approximately five years. We will start the lesson now. Good morning. Hi. Hi. And how are you two? Um, okay. Doing your homework? Yep. Of course, thank you. No jokes today, sorry. <laughs> well, the only jokes I've got are ones which I've done before. So, if you want to hear an old joke, I'll tell you an old joke. You've heard it before. Yes or no? Uh, I don't know if you want okay, what did the what happened to the trifle sponge when it was caught committing it? Custody, uh, there's a custody on it. Yeah. Placed into custody, custody. correct, well yeah. remembered, right. Um, oh, very good. So we were doing um, straight line equations. We were using, firstly we did it by the graphical method and then we did it by... Well done, very good. Maimona, I'm so pleased you got it all right. Well done, fantastic. A star star for that. Tala, I was expecting you to get that right. Well done, fantastic. A star two. Slightly scruffy than your sisters, but we know you're not quite as good as ours as that. So but well done, that's very good. Try and sharpen your pencil next time, we'll get an extra star. Okay. All right, that's very good, especially for 11. Okay, well done. Now, so we, we were doing them graphically, and then we talked about what a simultaneous equation was. Now, what I want to do is just recap a few things to see if you remember them. Okay, so I'm going to a little verbal test. Okay, does anybody remember the equation for a straight line? Why is it plus C? Excellent, well done. Okay, does anybody remember the equation for a gradient? D um, equals Y over does X. Okay, well done, both are fantastic. Um, can somebody describe to me what the concept of gradient is? What, what is which it which way is slope? Which way is slope? No, the positive is slope. It's the slope, how, how steep it is, isn't it? Okay, well, you're both right, because it is which way it slopes, the direction of slope, whether it slopes that way or that way. That being a positive slope and that being an ah, do it the other way around. That being a positive slope and that being a negative slope. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yes, it does indicate the direction of slope, the sign of m, and the quantity of m. Yes, you're right, maybe no, it, it's the amount of slope. A low value for m is a, a very low slope and a high value. And you're right with the equation before the change in y divided by the change in x. Is the gradient of slope well done? Okay, in y, okay, next question in y equals mx plus c, what is the c value? Y is y is okay, well done, excellent. And what is the m value? Uh, it's, the, m it's, the, is the, it's, the, it's the gradient, yes, it's the, a gradient, yeah. yes, it's a change in y to y. And what does the sign of m indicate in the straight line? Um, the gradient? Is positive or negative? And what is positive? Yes, correct, but what is positive what, or negative? Um, Show me what you think a positive negative slope is. This is a this is a positive From your point of view or my point of view? This is this, this is mine, yes. Yes, it's positive from your point of and view. This is negative. negative from your point of view. Okay, well done. Absolutely correct. Was he right? Yeah. Of course he was, but I think he was right. Okay, well done. <laughs> Alright, so that's it. Right, what does the why when we have we, we did yes last session we did graphical solution for simultaneous equations. Um, does anybody remember what is the concept? What is a simultaneous equation? Uh, Mr. When, where they meet, where two lines meet. Okay, it's the intersection point where two straight lines cross at the moment. Later on, we will be doing intersections on curves. Which is kind of like hard GCSE questions, by the way. So be very, very good when you get into those. All right. What we're going to do today, we're going to look at the algebra solution, which we touched a little bit upon on the last session. We're going to look at, at solving simultaneous equations algebraically again. So it's slightly revision at the start, 
and then eventually during the lesson you're going to be doing yourselves with algebra. What was the advantages of solving an equation using algebra over doing a graphical? You can do it quicker because the graphical yeah, is quicker. Because the speed is great in maths because speed means less work and we can do more work on something else. Okay, we've got these two equations. I'm just going to do a quick nasty sketch here. So we've got an equation there and an equation here. And where they intersect, that is the point of simultaneousness. Or does anybody remember what the word simultaneous means? It means um, it means keep like if something's happening and another happens at the same time. Yeah. Correct, I don't remember. It's, it's when two events occur at the same time. Mathematically, on Cartesian coordinates, anybody remember Cartesian coordinates, what they are? They're the coordinates we're doing right now. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's correct. Um, they are the coordinates we're doing right now. They're map makers coordinates. Oh, yeah. Do you remember the word chart? It's saying yeah, yeah that chart means it is, it's a sailor's yeah. map. And the Cartesian uh, comes from the, uh, the chart comes from chart the comes from the word Cartesian. Yeah. So the map makers coordinates using x, y, or a, a, b, c, one, two, three, four. Yeah. Letters and numbers. Does anybody remember the other type of polar? Polar. Oh, well done. Okay, excellent. Oh, I know why you remember those, because they're the ones that polar bears were used. Right. Now, we said yesterday, at this point, at this point, let's do one with horrible numbers. I'm just going to make one up at the moment. Y equals 2x plus 1, and y equals minus x plus Can I do it now? 10. Well, you think you can do it now from this? From yesterday's lesson? Okay, well, can I just go through it again and then we can try something yeah. new? Have you got a tablet in today's lesson? I can look up some equations quickly. Oh, yeah. Should I get yeah. one? Well, ask your brother, yeah? <laughs> Hamza, could you possibly run and get the tablet, please? Thank you very much. <laughs> Hamza, the cameraman. <laughs> that right? it's, up, it's upstairs. Is it upstairs? Do you want to shout to him? All right, well, while he's doing that, we're going to go through the theory we did yesterday. We went through the argument A. If A equals to B... If A equals to B, and B equal is equal to C, to C does C equal A? Yeah. And yesterday, yes, yes, yes. do you rethink it? Yeah. No, you still agree yes, that, yeah? <laughs> and then we used the logic, we said, well, if that equation is equal to Y, and that equation is also equal to Y at that point of intersection, then therefore... That equation must equal that equation, but only at that point. So we said 2x plus 1 must be equal to Minus it. negative x yeah, plus, plus 10. 10. And then we used yeah. um, our way of balancing the equation, which is using the backwards in time theory. Or in, By the way, backwards in time, when you go to big schools, they call backwards in time inverse function okay. inverse function means the opposite okay tell us start to put the lines on okay so you want to put this x over here so that it becomes a plus so okay so negative x what may mean what are you saying it becomes positive x so 2x we add that x we move it across becomes 3x well done and then the 10 becomes, 1 becomes negative yeah so, so Right. One. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're making a slight error. Now you know why I was revising it. Because we want all the letters on one side and all the numbers on oh. the other. Because we want to know what x... Uh, fundamentally, at the end of this piece of algebra, we want to know what x is equal to. We're trying to find out the number x. So, so what we need to do, we need to move all our letters 
Yeah, to this side and all our numbers to that side. So it's negative one. So you two. need to take the one across to the other side, and yes. Then ten minus one. Is nine. So three X equals nine. Very good, Raymond. Did you get that down? X equals three because you did Okay, nine very nine. nice and quick. But can we just go through it for <laughs> people who are not quite so brain as you, like me? <laughs> um Right, we've got 3 times x equals 9. You're taking the 3 to the other side. Dividing. We're dividing, we're doing the opposite. We're doing the inverse function, or backwards in time, as you know it. So x equals 9 divided by 3, and therefore, yes, yeah. you're absolutely right. So x equals 3. So we've solved part of our problem. We've found out... You just got very good You just got very good memories. Right, so... We need to substitute the value 3 Seven. into one of these equations. Wait. You're going to do it in that one. Wait, so y equals 3 times 2 times 3 is equal to 7. Right, so where they intersect those equations are the point 3. three and we write that as a standard Cartesian coordinates. Bracket, comma, 3, comma, 7. seven and then, then what? And then close bracket. And that's the point of intersection. Mm -hmm. We found out where the two lines crashed, so to speak. Obviously, my graph wasn't drawn correctly, was it? it <laughs> that could be a good GCSE question, couldn't it? Yeah. It could say, this, it could say like, um, Jeremy drew a graph of the following two equations. Here is what he drew below. Is he correct? Yeah. This should be, this and you would say be no up, because yeah. yes, be, yes, you'd say no be because there. the point of intersection is there. Yeah. So it should be like they've never done that as a GCSE question. Like, quick, let me write some of the ten words. Okay. Actually, that would be a brilliant GCSE question. Yeah. question. Like or they could put Robert drew a graph in a lesson. He's a teacher. Should he be fired? Yes. <laughs> 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 All right. What we'll do now, I'll look up one, and you're going to try. One on your own. Okay. Wait, let, me put... let me look up one. Or oh, shall I try and make up one in my head again? Yeah, what? I'm fast. Um, I hate doing this in my head. I'm getting old. You should yeah, be able to do this in my head. Right. Um, actually, I want to set some homework for me, so I will do it this way. Simul. Did you uh, do anything nice over the weekend? I didn't actually yesterday. Um, um, okay. Nothing okay? Nothing happened. Nothing happened, yeah. don't they? Did you make any more cakes? Oh, oh yeah, you did make cupcakes. Sure, sure, sure. Well, I, no, it was in the night time. I made it in the night. The last cake you made was wonderful, actually. Yeah. We're, um, we're going to make another big, um, big yeah. square one. Do you want to have a cupcake and tea? Pardon? Right, okay, so we've got y equals 3x plus 2, y equals minus x. By the way, this is not the method that's commonly taught at schools. However, this method can be used for both normal simultaneous equations and for curves. And straight lines intersecting or even curves intersecting so this method works for all however the school method is sometimes quicker so once we've got used to this method we will be teaching the school method as well okay so you'll know both and you need to know this for when you do a line going through a curve or a curve going through a curve later on it's too young for at the moment but you're doing very, very well both of you Right, minus x, I might do one with fractions in, um, okay, those two. Can you both try and work on that equation now? See if you can find the point of intersec intersection. If you get them wrong, like I always say, it's no problem. Endeavour to find out what mistakes were made and if there are any understanding problems. Um, oh, 
I'd better do it as well, wouldn't I? So I can check if you're alright. Okay with the fractions in this people. Okay, so 3x plus x is 4x. So 4x equals what? Well, what's 4x? You've actually wrote the right thing, you've not put an equal sign in. Oh. 4x equals what? Why do you think you're right? Yes, yeah. done. Well done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very good. Mm -hmm. Oh. No, you've done it wrong. Oh. You've done everything right apart from your fractions. Thank you. What's well, 10 divided by 4? You're going to do a lot. Yeah. No. What did you put? Oh, yeah, you did. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you corrected it. Okay, so you made a slight error with your fractions, and what would you divide? But your method for simultaneous equations was correct, well done. I'm very pleased. Right, so, so okay. so you got you got four x equals ten. Is that what you wrote? Yeah. Okay, so what's ten? Yeah, then you divide by four, which is two and a half. Okay, that's and right. This and then you've got to put two and a half into one of the other equations. Yeah, I'm right, yeah. So it's three times two and a half. Yeah. So so three two times two, two is um, six. six. And, then and three times a half is? Um, it's one and a half. Yes, yeah, so so six to one and a half. Seven and a half, plus yeah. two. Yeah. Um, Correct answer. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to write that down. Correct answer. Well done. Nine and a half. Okay, excellent. That's All right, it. obviously we need a little bit more practice on that because that's the first time you've done this, but yeah, well done. Okay, I'm just going to have a word with the camera now. Yeah. Thank you very much. You finish. But now we'll come back to it. Uh, don't want to do two hour lesson on the Includes this filming. The students will now go on to practice more of these until they're able to do it and look into speeding it up. Further on in this particular session, we will be looking at the school method for solving simultaneous equations as well. And at the end, there will be set some homework for next week's sessions. Thank you for watching the film. Take care. Bye.